Hi everybody! Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Psycho Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Happy 2023. Woo. Woo! It feels good to be back. Yeah. Um, we have missed you all, but it was great to go on break. Oh, it was yes. really nice mm -hmm. to get some much needed rest after quite a busy holiday season. Yeah. Um, we have you all to thank for that. So um, it was really a great year last year and we're looking forward to doing it all over again this year and even better. Yeah. Yeah, how was your break, Ashley? It was good. It was it was restful. I went to visit family. I got to experience warm weather during nice. the winter cold. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. What was the weather like? Was it like 70s? Well, actually, the first day that I got there, it was 30 degrees, so it was actually freezing. Um, Wait, what? Th That's not... Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting at yeah, all. It was okay. very abnormal. It was very cold, not okay. prepared. Okay. And then after a couple days, it went it went back up to the 70s. It was like 75 Fahrenheit. I was enjoying life. And I know here, yeah. it was so cold, right? Like those first couple days. Yeah, it was really cold, like right like on Christmas Day and like right before Christmas. I remember the last day at the store. Um, it was like me, Christine, May, and Neil. We were all like freezing. Freezing! It was so cold that day. But um, um, it's, nice, it's nice to have like a cold Christmas. I feel like it's strange mm. when Christmas is warm. Um, no offense. I know you're probably like, you're from somewhere warm. So yeah, Christmas you have, is always Yeah, warm. exactly. But I feel like Christmas should be cold and snowy. We didn't mm -hmm. get the snow this year though. No um, white Christmas. Yeah, no white Christmas. I hope we do get to see some snow this year because I bought yeah. Jacob this snowsuit and I have this like... I want to make a core memory for him of like just tossing him into a pile of snow, but that has yet to happen. Oh my gosh! I hope that happens. I, I know, right? Me too. You. Me too. Um, other than that, I don't know. How's your how's your new year going so far? Has your new plan? I saw you made a reels the other yes, day. Yes, I did make a reels. Yeah. I'm really like hoping to stick to all my planners this year because I have three. Three. Like one added, more from last year. Mm -hmm, yeah. I added the Hobonichi weeks to motivate myself to like hang out with Gigi, hang out with friends. Yeah. And I, I think it's going well. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, I, I put more entries in that planner. So Yay. keeping up so far. So good, fun. Good. good for you. Did you have any like New Year's resolutions that you did this year? Um, well, I guess one of my, I, I had some resolutions last year that I'll be carrying over to this year, which is like doing a lot of like supporting small businesses by leaving mm. reviews. Yeah, I, mm. I actually tracked it last year in my Hobonichi and I wrote like a bunch of reviews last year for businesses and it felt really good to do it because I know we really appreciate them when we get them. Yes. Um, so I'll be continuing with that and what other goal? I, I was also trying to do thank you letters last year and I'm going to carry that on oh, to I this remember year. That. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and then this year, a new one that I have is cutting down on food waste. Mm. I feel like, you know, there's always a lot of food at home. Like my parents cook for us a lot and sometimes we want to like change it up a little. So we order in, but I'm really going to try and like make do with the ingredients that we have at home. And, you know, I'm making, I'm thinking about like maybe getting like a little stamp or a little sticker for myself when I manage to like cook something out of the ingredients, like just from the pantry, mm, you know? That's good. Um, so I have to look for a cute little reward for myself, a stationary <laughs> reward. That is definitely one of the ways that I keep myself motivated to keep on my uh, resolutions and my goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, planner, planners are such a good way of, of it's motivating so me. It's so true. It's so true. And when you're like not doing bad, when you're not doing well with your goals, like you also don't want to write in your plan. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like one thing feeds the other. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. Yeah. I hope you all are well at home and had very happy New Year's. It is definitely the time of the year when we're all like beginning our new planners and filled with like that. I love that like New Year optimism that mm -hmm. everybody comes in with, and I think that probably a lot of you are feeling the same way. I certainly am too, and I hope you are having fun setting up all your planners, filling in, filling them up, um, you know, keep using them to keep track of your goals, whatever it is you want to do. 
Um, so, so yeah, but the break was really good. And as you all know, our, our team has been back working on like online orders and things like that, but our shop has actually been closed an extra week and our shop is going to be back on January 11th. We were just in the store yesterday mm -hmm. setting up, right? Like Neil took down the Christmas tree. We sort yes. of are doing, trying a new setup in the store and, um, it's going to be good. We're just getting ready for the new year we always like to take time from our break to set things up properly yeah. for a busy year ahead yeah like good footing before yeah everything you know really gets busy yeah so that's what we've been doing and this past week like this time off from the store um, has also given us an opportunity to add lots of new stationery, I would mm -hmm, say. Mm -hmm. um, so we are definitely back. And one of the things that we added just before the break that I did an unboxing video for this past week was Traveler's Diner. Yeah, Ashley has a set in front of her. It's so <laughs> cute. These are limited sets of Traveler's Notebooks that include um, other goodies like um, stickers. And um, these are the stickers. So... There's a lot I in here. That. There's so much in here. Um, there are postcards that come with the set as well. You should definitely shoot us an email and um, get your name to me and I will make sure that you get one before the restock starts. Nice. Yeah. Um, we'll also be doing an in-store event in February. These are like little, little traveler's coasters that will be given out at the event and there's a partner shop stamp for the Traveler's Diner event. That's right. So cute. And um, we'll be having these stamps. Travelers love to do these stamps. And I think it's like a really great way. It's like a fun little thing that people always enjoy putting into their Traveler's Notebook. So you can come and collect this stamp and the coaster at our event in February. The dates will be, um, I believe, the 9th to the 12th. So look out for that. We have the new release from Sailor, the Sailor ink pen sets. And these first two are... Oh, I have the names written down. <laughs> the names are Sound of the Sea Breeze and Tone of Evening Calm. Yes. Yes. And these... Those are hard names to remember. They are hard yeah. to remember. <laughs> They're quite a mouthful, okay, Sailor? <laughs> <laughs> but like what I think is cute about these is they are inspired by like sea and sailing, so I feel like it's very fitting. It's for very sailor. fitting. These colors are based off the Sailor Ink Studio fountain pen inks. So these numbers correspond exactly with the inks. And you get three colors in each set. So these are the color combinations. Wow, so pretty. Yeah, and actually these are the same brush marker types as the Sailor Shikiori markers. Yeah. So if you like those like marker, this is the same exact one. So you get that end and the fine tip end, which I, I love to write with. Yeah, and are you gonna show us this oh writing gosh. sample, Ashley? No big deal, <laughs> just the stunning calligraphy that we have lying on the table here. This is very spur of the moment. So. Oh, no big deal, I just did it yeah, real quick. No big deal. <laughs> but this is like how thick the marker can get and that's how thin the brush marker can get and the fine tip side looks like this. And there will probably be more sets Right? Uh, I'm wondering, the are they going to do 100 colors? Because there's 100 colors. That sounds like an undertaking. I I'm know. not sure. Next up on the table, we have new Blackwing Volumes pencil. This is Blackwing Volumes number 192. And this is a tribute to um, Paul McCartney and John Legend. Whoops. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wrong famous Wrong song John, writer. yeah. Um, John Lennon um, and all the songs that they wrote. So 192 for actually the number of songs that they oh, wrote so together. Many songs. So many oh songs. God. That's insane. And I mean, he died. Yeah. He didn't live very long. Yeah. Um, He's, each pen pencil has a quote from a lyric from each of the songs that are featured. This one. Don't carry the world upon your shoulders. What song is that from? <laughs> Which I, should, I feel like I should know. Hey, hey Jude, it's from Hey Jude. Uh, I think. Oh yes, you're think. right. You're right. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gigi's a big fan of like oh, Beatles and whatnot. Really? So 
She'd probably know all these. Oh. I probably don't know all these. <laughs> oh my god, you should do a little test with her. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be cute, fun. right? That'd yeah. be fun, a little trivia. Put it in your Hobonichi weeks, mm -hmm, <laughs> your mm -hmm. activity of the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that. I love I love black wing volumes and how collectible they are. Mm -hmm. um, okay, next up we have lots of new stationery. I'm going to dive into all the new stationery that um, we have from LCN. Mm -hmm. Ashley and I talked about LCN's mini journaling kit, which we made available at the end of 2022, and that's just like the first part of her new collection that we added to the website, and we finally had a chance to complete the collection. Amy did, shout out to Amy. They are essentially like clear stamps. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two designs. There's this one, which is like the display, specimen display, which come with these like, they come with these uh, rubber stamps that you put on a clear block. And these are the designs for them that you get inside. So there's like these specimen jar ones. Um, and then there's more of like these boxy type, like sort of like through a looking glass kind. It is called Star Trails. And you're meant to use them with a clear acrylic block, just like you would a clear stamp. So we're all familiar with those. I feel like those have been a big hit in the stationery community. And this is just like more of that. Or also like this is a theme in her new collection. This is the specimen display sticker set. And I thought these are really cool. Amy. I love these. I know these are pretty. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. These are cool. They are, first of all, like LCN's so generous with her stickers. Like she gives you stickers that so will last you your entire life. Mm -hmm. um, but these are clear stickers that are partly glossy where the glass of the display case would be. And then around the edges on the border, they're actually matte. That's so cool. That's so That's cool. such a good detail. They are a little bit clear like this. Right, so you can like write something behind it yeah. and then like or make put, a little case in it or... Or draw like a cute little thing or put a sticker underneath here. That'd be cute. Yeah. yeah. And then we have these tiny, teeny tiny, like this, her whole new collection is about teeny tiny things as you <laughs> <laughs> As you all know, Elsie is great at making teeny tiny little things. These are um, miniature stamp sets, mini wooden stamp sets for your mini journal. So there's different sets. This is Language of the Stars, Daily Symbols, um, Antique Alphabet, and then like numbers too. And um, this one we actually have open. It'll show you the detail on this, which is so crazy. So um, this is sort of like a DIY stamp set. So you get these wooden stamp blocks that don't have a rubber stamp on them, but you are you get with these sets all of these like loose sheets of paper for you to stamp on once you've created your stamp. So there's all of the it's like a mini checklist. I saw there was like I a water tracker. I know. Your like mini notebook papers are so cute. Yeah, oh mini, they're basically just for you to create your mini notebook um, and to use in your mini journal. So you would just take off this little tiny stamp and put it onto this wooden stamp mount um, and use the little... These are like really tiny. <laughs> and then you would just cut out these from the paper that she provides to stick on and indicate what stamp this is. So Amy made this one already for us, thank goodness, because to have to do this on camera, I might have a panic attack. <laughs> um, need like tweezers. Yeah, I would need tweezers for sure. But um, I actually heard LCN talk a little bit about these. She did like a, she's been doing a lot of tutorials on how to use these mini mm. miniatures because I think she knows that they can be a little bit overwhelming when you're first getting mm -hmm. them. So I would mm -hmm. recommend checking out LCN's Instagram if you got some of these and you're not sure exactly what to do with them. Or you can ask us as well. Um, but LCN explained that these are limited edition because the wood was actually super hard to cut like this. Mm, like it was like so really small. hard for her mm, to get. That makes sense. Yeah, her manufacturer had to like do lots of trials and they're all so precisely cut. Um, and just imagine like the making these tiny tiny yeah, stamps all of the detail on these stamps so these are limited edition because they were super hard to produce and she also said they're a little bit more expensive because of that but it was nice to hear Elsa explain 
why. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Really Additionally, LCN also more has LCN. these poetry stamps. These are these are like more like of your typical uh, rubber stamps. They come mm -hmm. mounted, and they actually come with these poems on them. Yeah. This so is like a collaboration that she did with Ellie Mont. Yes. I know she loves a lot of um, Ellie Mont's writings and poems and poetry. Uh, American poet writer and the the poem actually takes up like the whole block yeah so the whole like block cute... is just words yeah. of a poem mm -hmm. and they're really beautiful poems and very LCN yes. yeah and for our pop-up LCN actually asked L. E. Mont to write a poem inspired by the wooden stamp that she made for us for yeah. our stores so, so I'll nice. always love that poem a lot too mm -hmm. um, well, we have new things from the superior labor yes these are pen cases, zipper pen cases, and they look similar to ones that we had before, but the leather is slightly different. This leather is like a little textured, like that kind of pebbly look, and it's got the gold detailing on the front. And this is the zipper. This is pretty much the same. I sometimes have trouble with metal zippers. But yeah, that's the same, just for pens, pen case, and it comes with the superior labor tag, mm -hmm. as always. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. Yeah. I feel like maybe the leather um, will patina differently than the ones that we originally had, mm -hmm. um, since these are already like softer to begin with. Yes. And there are three colors. There's black, brown, and yellow. This yellow one is like very nice. I like that. So bright. Yeah, I like the mustard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It fits like TSL's style very well. Um, and then also new from TSL, we have these little pin badges. We have these leather um, front parts, and which are embossed with TSL logo and just like classic TSL imagery. And then in the back, it looks like this, just like a classic pin. Um, so I think you're meant to sort of pin these onto your tote bags or any of your other TSL uh, merch, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, yeah, um, that, that you sport. So if you love TSL, these are really cute. I've never seen like a leather version yeah, of these. Yeah, it's so, so funny to see like such a like high quality pin yeah. type thing. Yeah, right, because these or are usually like plastic and like yeah. you can DIY them. <laughs> But this is like leather and really nice. It's very nice. Yeah, so Tia. Last but not least, we have two really cool fountain pens to talk about. Um, the first one is in this beautiful wooden box in front of the table here. And this is the Bungu Box King of Pen Silent Night. It comes in this box which is like engraved the wood is like carved out and it says silent night king of pen and there's snowflakes on it and just like all bungu box pens they come with like a little card on it with the name of the pen um and this is the pen itself so it's a sailor king of pen a huge, huge. pen maybe i'll like move this um a huge pen and it is glitter but it's a very subtle yeah like fine fine glitter yeah fine fine glitter and of course bungu box pens always come with some sort of a custom finial and here we have a raiden snowflake nice nice and um the nib is the classic king of pen nib which is ginormous it is 21 karat but it's actually larger than the typical um sailor 21 karat nib so it's going to be softer just like all king of pen nibs are and i love the ion detailing mm -hmm. gotta be so careful <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is the bunga box king of pen silent night um which is named after one of the inks from their ink tells more collection Okay. Next up, um, in fountain pens, we have in this box in front of us. Such a big box. Such a big box because there's not just one pen in here, okay? <laughs> it is the Custom 74 30th Anniversary Pen Set. This is the big box. It's like the size of my two hands. And um, in this box, you get a bottle of ink in the anniversary blue color. This is 30 mils. 
And what's really exciting about this is that you get one Custom 74 uh, complete, but you get three color barrels, mm -hmm. um, and sort of you can change the color of your pen depending on what your mood is. And this is supposed to represent like 30 years of the Custom 74, celebrating 30 years of the Custom 74, which is one of Pilot's best pens. Yeah. Um, and the three different colors represent past, present, and future. Wow. Um, so the amber color is past, the, ooh, I can't remember, I think the cobalt is present and the turquoise blue is future. So give everyone another look at those colors. Yeah, and then there's other like 30th anniversary details on the pen as well, on the band, and on the nib there are laurels with 30 leaves on them. So the nib has a laurels with 30 leaves on them to represent the 30 years of the Custom 74. So I think that's really cool. Yeah. I'm really excited about this one. That's about it for the newly added stationery. We have been closed this past week. So um, I haven't met a lot of you all. Like we usually talk about our experiences in the store, yeah. but um, we were on break and our store has been closed, but I actually, do have a friend that, a couple of friends that I really want to shout out for literally making me cry <laughs> right before we went on break. <laughs> um, we've talked about Ame before and I think like many of you might know Ame already. It's funny because every time I talk to like a really nice person in the store, I find out later that it's like somehow related to Ame. That's and like so everyone funny. knows Ame. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know Ame, Ame is a really, really wonderful, talented illustrator, artist in the stationery community. Her Instagram handle is Ame Ru, A M E R U U. To use. To use, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and she's just a really active person in the stationery community. She mm -hmm. streams on Twitch and mm -hmm. she seems to know everyone and for some reason she <laughs> loves us. <laughs> um, Ame, for some reason you love us. You you were so good to us and um, right before the break Ame sent us a little package with Wynn, um, another really good friend of ours and in it clear stickers as you all can see because it is representing the Yoseka entrance. Um, so it, you can see our little sign here, a little cat here, and our little board here that says, so, so casual. casual. I love that detail. That's so funny. When I saw I that, know. I, I, I like, so laughed so funny. hard. It's She's so, so funny. She's so funny. And Ami told me, I don't know if you even knew this, but she told me that these colors are the colors of our origin and our refresh pack. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So take oh, a look. We so have the cute. green of the leaves from the origin and the gold moon from the origin, and then like the very cooler like green ah. and blue and pink, um, peachy pink that represent the refresh pack. Refresh. Pen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I didn't yeah. know that. That's so cute. So Ami made these for us. Oh my god. I, I love it so much. Um, yeah. This made me cry. <laughs> this is making me cry. Um, but I wanted to talk about this specifically on Catching Up because Ame sent us a bunch of them and she said that if anybody would like one that we she would love it if we were if we could give it out to people who oh. um, would like one. You know my so. mom saw this and she was <gasps> oh. like, I want one. Oh and my I was God. like, you should okay. send it to her. You should take one for her. Oh, um, yeah. That's sweet. So for anybody who's like ordering in the coming weeks or whatever months, um, be sure to leave us an, a comment on your order and ask us for one of Ame's stickers if you would like to request one of these adorable little babies. Thanks, Ame. Thank you, Ame. We love Very you. Cute. Yeah, <laughs> we love them so much. Um, and another friend, is she another friend? friend? I mean, she's like family. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Part of our Yoseka oh, family. Spoilers. Oh, a surprise came in the mail this past week. We, it's funny because we were like done with the holidays, pretty much like back from the new year, you know. But Bethany, while she was on vacation, actually sent us these pouches that she made. Handmade. Yeah, handmade. She, I don't know what time she had. This girl was on vacation uh -huh. and she, made, she said she made 30 of these. That's crazy. 
crazy. Oh yeah. my gosh. So these are ha like sewn by Bethany. Um, oh, they're zippers. all unique. They're all like recycled with fabrics and textiles mm -hmm. that she got from her other work. Mm -hmm. um, and she works in a showroom for like furniture. Um, and so I, I just freaking love that she reused these textiles which would have otherwise gone in the trash yeah. and made these really beautiful pouches with them. They look so nice. And the wool like is so funny. We were, there were four of us here. I think it was like Christine, May, Alex and I, and we were all here. <laughs> And this package arrived and we we're like, oh, like it's just a package, whatever. And then we see Bethany and it's like, that's so funny. She told me she was sending it beforehand, so oh. I kind of knew, but I didn't know what would be inside. I thought it would be snacks. I didn't think it would be handmade pouches. pouches? Uh, yeah. But thank you so much, Bethany. I thank already you, just Bethany. I already like threw all my pens in, into oh, the one that I chose. It looks so good like that. Yeah, thank yeah, you, thank you. I love it. And the, the fabric texture is like so good for, it's like for wool, winter. Sort it's of. like woolen. Yeah. So I'm very, very happy. Yeah. Go 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 find Bethany and ask her to make you one too. <laughs> Hand make. I, I'm like so impressed. As like another person who sews, I was like Right. I don't right. even I kudos yeah. to the hard work. <laughs> On vacation. On vacation. Okay. <laughs> um so yes, it is Still very much um, holidays, spirits around here, holiday moods. I think we're all um, very happy to be back and you know refreshed and getting this little care package in the mail was certainly something very sweet that yes. made our week very good this past week. Mm -hmm, um, so yeah, I think that is about it. I'm really looking forward to getting the store back open this coming mm -hmm. week and um, filling it with lots of stationary lovers. Looking forward to another year of events. We have travelers coming up in February and um, I am speaking with some people about more events to put on the calendar this year. Oh so, boy. yeah, I'm not going to spoil tuned. anything, but I am really excited about something. <laughs> um, keep an eye out. Yes, keep an eye out. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Catching Up. We are happy to be back, and we will see you very soon in more videos and more catching ups all year long. Bye. Bye.